are nervous. Okay. Pumping up for the video. Hi. Um, <laughs> my name is Chloe. This is my first ever YouTube video. I'm so excited. I'm a little bit nervous, so I'm just gonna get into it and we'll see how it goes. You may know me, I just love Chloe Jane if you follow my socials. Otherwise, um, Chloe Grayling is my real name, which I also go by sometimes. Or that Chloe Jane Candle Co girl, which I've been greeted with before, and that's lots of fun too. Just wanted to make a video because everyone has told me that I should, everyone that reads my stuff, everyone that knows me has told me that I should get on YouTube and sort of inject a little bit of personality into what I do. And here I am, super scary. There's no filters on this. It's sort of just coming out as it happens. Um, no time to think of a caption, but yeah, really cool. Um, basically, this is just gonna be a little about me for anyone that doesn't know me. Hi, it is so nice to meet you. I'd love to know a bit about you too. I don't know how that works on YouTube, but we'll work something out. My name is Chloe, did I say that? I think so. I am 21 years old. This is my house. It's actually the spare room of my house. My boyfriend calls it my room because I spend all my time in here because I love it. The lighting's amazing. There's nice sheets on the bed. It's just great. I live in South Australia. I study full-time at uni. I'm doing creative writing and English literature at Flinders, which is close by and it's a really good university. I really enjoy it. I work two jobs, just casually. So I'm a barista at a beautiful little cafe on the Esplanade of Christie's Beach. Uh, and I am, my official job title is the officer of first impressions, which sounds really wanky and like I'm just making it up, but I promise I'm not. Um, I basically run front of house sometimes at a wood oven pizza restaurant in Wollonga as well, which is a beautiful small town pretty close to us. So got the best of both worlds, got the beach and then I've got basically a village. It's, I'm very, very lucky um, in my work life. And if studying and working two jobs didn't keep me busy enough, I also run just a few, just two at the moment, small businesses around my blogging and my living my life and everything else. So one of them is Chloe Jane Candle Co, which I mentioned before, and which way do I go? Here is a candle I prepared earlier. Um, that's a little business that I started when I was 19 years old and it just took on a life of its own and it's become a real thing, which is amazing. Um, it was my first baby before my dog and before my future children, I guess. Um, and yeah, it just has changed my life in so many ways, which I would definitely get into in a future video. Um, I also run social media accounts for other small businesses under the name Spark Social Media Creative. And that's something else that I'm really passionate about is creating content and getting other small businesses off the ground and, you know, making something of them online and reaching out to the world. It's, it's really cool. Touching my face a lot. I have a really itchy nose. You know, when you can't itch, so then you feel really itchy. Okay. I thought I would just answer a few about you questions that I found online because otherwise I would just ramble on forever, which I am very, very good at. I'm also like slapping my legs a lot. I could, start a music video trend. I can't do the cup song. I can't do this either. What am I doing? Okay, bear with me. I'm just gonna grab these questions. So I found this thing called the 20 questions tag, which seems ridiculous. You do not need to know that much about me at all. So what I'm doing instead is I'm just gonna pick five and I'm gonna go with that. And one is if you could look back on one memory from last year and relive it, what would it be? Um, the last year for me has been amazing. It has been the year that I've really grown from being a teenager into an adult and there is such a difference like that comes with the good and the bad um, and with a lot of learning curves, but it's been really massive um, in my life. So one of the best moments for me in the last year um, was actually on Christmas Eve. Patrick, my gorgeous boyfriend, who you will meet at some stage, much to his avoiding it, I'm sure. Um, and I bought a house in December of last year, which is crazy. We're only 21. Our settlement was on the 21st of December. When you think about December, the month in general, 
Um, we've got Christmas coming up, New Year's coming up. Running a business that sells candles meant that I was also really, really busy with that. Didn't think about that one. We decided to get a puppy on the 23rd. So we moved in on the 21st of December. Life was crazy. No, that's not true. We got our puppy on the 24th, so the day before Christmas. So Christmas Eve. Um, life was crazy. Two of our beautiful friends, Lucas and Mads, love you guys, helped us move into our house. And we were... Um, you know, house sharing before. So we didn't have a lot of stuff. So we had to buy stuff, we had to get stuff, we had to bring it all in and make it all happen. And um, we had two nights at home, just sort of hanging out, I, just cleaning mainly. And I have this tendency, my boyfriend always tells me Rome wasn't built in a day. So I wanted to put up every picture. I wanted to um, choose all the artwork out. I wanted to fix anything that needed fixing. I wanted it to be perfect and I wanted it to stay perfect forever, which really proves I didn't know what we were doing, but spent those two days being crazy busy, picked up our gorgeous puppy. And then, um, every New Year's Eve, we have a tradition of all of our friends catching up together. We've got like a little, it's a little group. I like to call it a gang. We're not a gang. We are the least threatening people you will ever meet. Um, but it makes me feel a bit tough. Um, we had the gang come around and we had spaghetti bolognese for dinner and we did a secret Santa. Um, and it was just that moment of everyone sitting on our couch in this house that we'd somehow pulled together and, and bought and everyone opening up their presents and trying to guess who bought them and our little puppy who is now a massive dog was there um just snoozing on my lap and it was I don't know it was just one of those moments you look around and you just think I am so lucky um and that's that memory is like my happy place now I guess it's one of those memories that you can go back to and and just feel warm spread throughout your body and and just be good so yeah that's what I will pick that was a long answer Okay, the second question is a bit of a doozy for me. It is, when did you last cry? Um, I cry at everything. I think Kristen Bell once said that if you're like happier than a seven or sadder than a three, you're crying. For me, it's probably like six and four. Like if I'm a five, I'm fine. I'm I'm basically crying with happiness right now just because I'm making this video. Um, but I, I cry at ads, I cry at movies, I cry if someone's particularly nice. It's not a hormone imbalance, I just have a lot of feelings um, and I love expressing them and my body loves expressing them even when I'm like, no, hold it together. So the last time I cried was last night. It's actually been a very moderate day. Um, last night I cried because I looked up the closing scene from Benjamin Button. Um, because I just needed a little bit of inspiration and the quote at the end of that scene is just breathtaking. I'll let you look it up. Um, it starts with um, what it's worth, it's never too late, or in my case too early to be whoever you wanna be. It gives me goosebumps. Look, I've got goosebumps now. I'm basically crying again. That's the last time I cried. Wasn't as personal as I thought it was gonna be because it's just a constant thing. Okay, the third one is pretty personal as well. It's do you have any weird phobias? Yes, yes I do. I'm terrified I'm gonna make this video and then people are gonna know them and it's gonna be a thing. But um, I have a massive phobia. It's not of snakes, it's not of spiders. Like they're cool, we can be friends. It's of the eyes on potatoes. I, something uh, about gross on food really freaks me out. I mean, just, oh, oh my God. Sometimes my friends send me photos of potatoes, you know, that have been behind something or they've forgotten and they've been growing these little tentacles and they think it's so funny and it kills me. It's just terrifying. Cannot deal. Get them away, please. Massive phobia of the eyes on potatoes. Oh, this one's about a birthday. I'm just choosing these at random, um, to be honest. Um, but my birthday is in two weeks, less than two weeks. It's really, really soon. And I am a massive 
birthday princess. I am non-stop quoting, it's my birthday, the day before my birthday, on my birthday, the day after my birthday for the next week. Love birthdays, love them. So this is a great time and a good question for me. This one is, what is on your birthday wish list? So for my birthday this year, I would love a new case for my phone. It is currently not very smashed, which is amazing. It's just a little bit smashed in the corner. Oh, I don't know how to make this. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit smashed in the corner, which is amazing for me. Um, but I would love it if it was less smashed and I would love it if I had a nice sleek life proof case. I took the last one that I got to Bali and used it for a lot of snorkeling and things and sliding down waterfalls and getting a bit crazy and it's a little bit worse for wear so I can't really use it and still have a camera on my phone at the moment. Um, so that one is out and a new one would be amazing. Um, also I've just started washing my face properly for the first time in my life. I don't know if you can tell from this camera but I often have little problems with my skin and at the moment it's really really nice and it's because I've started using a Bobbi Brown face wash that my boyfriend actually bought me a few years ago. It's an oil based face wash um, and I thought it was going to be too oily for my skin but I started putting it on and it's just done wonders so I'm nearly out. I would love some more of that and in the same vein Moroccan oil. I bought some after my birthday three three years ago and I only have about this much left and I use it every time I wash my hair <coughs> which is um about two or three times a week so some more of that would be awesome and I know that this one's a massive cliche but just to spend some time with the people that I love life gets really really busy um especially you know juggling things and my favorite sort of present is when someone you know, sends you a message and says, hey, I'm taking you out. What day are you free? And you go out for a coffee together or, you know, they buy you some brekkie and you just get those couple of hours of time just to soak up each other's company. That to me is amazing. That is worth a million things, which I'll probably lose or forget about. Um, yeah, it's just really exciting. And the last question I'm going to answer is, ooh. Whew, there's some saucy questions on here. Oh, my. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Right. What do you order at Bruce Juice? That is a very clean question from that list that I just spied. Um, at Bruce Juice, I order my own juice. It's got orange and watermelon and pineapple and strawberries. It's just got a little bit of ice and it tastes like summer. It tastes like happiness. It is amazing. It puts me in a good no mood no matter what. 100% would recommend that juice. Five questions. Done. That was easy. That was overwhelming, but I had a lot of fun and I hope you are still watching this because it's been very long and a little bit rambly. I'll be making more videos in the future. Can't wait to see you then. You'll see me. Can't wait to... Well, I know that you're watching. Anyway, it's going to be great. Um, thank you. Have a wonderful afternoon and I'll see you soon. Bye.